while the fighting rages at the front line, women have mobilized in the city in support of their husbands, sons and brothers. Left behind alone in Benghazi, they have become the vital support troops needed in any war. Every day, almost 3,000 sandwiches and hot meals get sent to the front. A token of love to those who are risking their lives and their contribution to the struggle. This is our, uh, this is our job now. We do it. Why not? We are from Libya, from Benghazi. The, the, guerra, the revolution is started from Benghazi. So why you don't uh, come up and wake up now? These days are filled with worry. The mood here keeps shifting, following the ebbs and flows of the fighting on the front line. A lot of people got killed. I think they're, they think, I mean, my, 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 my friends once told me, it's like, I think we have to stop now. I was like, no, we have to have hope. We have to continue doing that. I mean, why they're, they're supposed to be, why they stop? If we stop, we're going to get killed anyway, both ways. Either he's here or he's not. This conversation is difficult to handle for Leila. Her 21 years old son is at the front line. I pray for him, for all of them. Not for my son only, for all the people they are. And suddenly, some much awaited news on the fighting. Benjawat has been liberated. An explosion of joy fills the school. Leila calls her son immediately. He is safe. But the celebrations were slightly too premature. Please, people, please do more than just watch. The latest information suggests that Ben Jawad is still contested. Forces loyal to Muammar Gaddafi's regime continue their assault on the rebels. And the women of Benghazi will continue being the much needed support troops. Khadab Al Hamid, Al Jazeera, Benghazi.